After your roof trusses have been installed along your end walls, it's time to install your end wall columns, which will be used to support your end wall girts. It is important to note that in this example, we are using Worldwide Steel Building's web truss columns and roof trusses with 6-inch purlins on the roof and 3 and 5 8 inch girts on all walls. If your building kit has different components than noted, then the dimensions you will need to use may vary from this video. Please be sure to verify the dimensions against your W1 drawing or the column layout plan. The dimension from the edge of the slab to the center line of your first end wall column will be identified on your W drawings. In the example shown, the first end wall column is 12 feet 0 inches from the edge of concrete slab at grid A along grid 8. Each end wall column after this will be measured from center line to center line of column. Utilizing a square, draw a line to represent the center line of the column on the concrete. Next, measure 6 and 5 eighths inches from the end wall edge of slab and make a mark. This will represent the center line of your column and base plate. Refer to your F drawings for the base plate detail. In this example, it's identified as detail 8 on drawing F3.0. It's a good idea to create a template to match the base plate of your column for ensuring anchor bolts are set in the proper location. Worldwide Steel Buildings does not provide this template, but one can easily be made with plywood. Place your template using the center line of the column marks and the 3 and 5 8 inch distance from the edge of the slab and mark your anchor bolt locations on the concrete. Refer to your foundation drawings for required anchor bolt diameter, length, and type. This should also reference the depth of embedment. Drill holes as required and install anchor bolts per anchor bolt manufacturer's requirements. The top of your end wall post will attach using a sliding end wall bent clip using hardware identified on your ship list as at end wall column adjustable connection. These bolts, nuts, and washers will attach the sliding end wall bent clip to the end wall post. The end wall bent clip should be placed in between the angles of your column that make up the inside and outside legs of your column as shown. Pay careful attention to which direction the roof slopes at the location you're installing so that the bent clip is angled in the correct direction to match the roof beam above. Put the clip in place and install with bolt, washer, and nut fitting loosely to allow movement when placing the column. When you're ready, place the end wall column over the anchor bolts and install the nuts on the anchor bolts to hold the column in place. For the attachment of the end wall bent clip to the roof beam, refer to your ship list in the hardware section identified as at end wall connection to roof truss. Line the attachment hole of the sliding bent clip up with the center of your roof truss. Loosely attach the sliding clip to the roof beam using the necessary hardware. Check the column to ensure it's plumb, and then tighten all bolts and nuts to secure the column in place. Continue this method to install any remaining end wall columns. Once completed, you may proceed with your end wall gird installation. Thanks for choosing Worldwide Steel Buildings. Got questions? Give us a call at 1-800-825-0316 or visit our website at worldwidesteelbuildings.com.